Hey, what do you think you're doing? Wake up. <sighs> I don't recall giving you the permission to fall asleep during your job. <laughs> oh, please, you're getting paid over time, and it was definitely your fault, from what I recall, for not getting the project done in time. You know, I only gave you this extension because you begged for it. And now you have to lie in the coffin that you built for yourself. <laughs> Come on. Do your work. I don't want to hear how tired you are. We're all tired. Take a look around you. Not many people might be here, but... It should be quite obvious that they are also working hard because of your mistake. That's a first. From what I recall, you said yourself that it was because of your bad time management that you didn't manage to finish the project up in time. <clears throat> so tell me, what is the truth? that you are suddenly showing. Oh, so your groupmates, teammates did not help. Are you sure? <laughs> you yourself said that it was your bad time management, so how can all the responsibility that you bet on yourself fall on your team members? Well, of course, I was relying on your words on seeing if you did manage to do the project, but no. I don't have time to watch over hundreds of employees to see if they're properly doing their work. I can only take their word for it. Ugh. Look, I am not dumb. I know that people here do pretend to work and it's not like something I can stop unless I know who it is. So, f f let's say what you're saying is true. Why would you lie about it being your fault in the first place? Really now? <sighs> Nothing, I'm, I'm just thinking, but... Uh, how many? You... Are you sure? I... Wait, so every... The reason why the presentation in the first place was clunky and the project was unfinished was because none of your groupmates did any of the work? <sighs> yeah, uh... It... I'm just debating myself. Maybe I do blame... well, not blame you, but I... I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions, but you shouldn't have told me that it was your fault, since that led me to the wrong conclusion. So, ah, pathetic. I'll have them, I'll have to see them in my office tomorrow or the day after. Of course, there's going to be a lot of good and bad employees, but uh, it's not something that I like to do to fire employees or reprimand them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, for how long have you not slept? I know you've been doing overtime for a while. Is that so? Well, you can leave the project as it is. 
yes, I'm not forcing you to keep on doing it. I'll talk to your teammates and I'll make them do it. If they cannot keep up their end of the work, then they have to finish it themselves. You already did quite the bit for however clunky and all over the place was it was. Of course, that amount of work cannot be done by one person. I know that much. Of course, me forcing you to do it because I thought that it was your fault was to teach you a lesson, but what of it now? I do apologize if, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I can't, uh, doesn't matter. Well, you don't have to worry about the work anymore. And honestly, I think you can take off the next week if you wish. It's a way to make it up to you. You did work quite a while for a couple days. So I think it seems fair, doesn't it? But next time, I do recommend that you don't lie about certain things. Even if you are being threatened. If you are being threatened, it's best to just tell me up front. It causes way too many, many issues if you do lie about it. That's, uh, that sort of behavior is unacceptable here. I promise you, you don't have to worry about that any longer. The person who told you that, well, they'll have to face their consequences soon enough. Like you did, but I guess the punishment was way too much for the action. Well. Oh. Why would you decide to stay so late that you missed your last train? Don't you think that's kind of counterproductive? You do realize you could have done all of the, wor all of the work at home. <laughs> you say that you can focus here more, but you should know that it's much more of a stiff environment. I would prefer to work in an environment that's more, well, you know relaxed. But I guess that didn't get through your thick skull. Of course, you're gonna get paid your overtime. I am quite surprised of the amount of work that you did manage to do all on your own. But you could have sent me an email that you did not... Your, well, your teammates did not do any of the work, so that would have made things much more easier. Hmm? All right, all right, like you said. Now, since you can't, well, get home, come with me, why don't you? Oh, you don't have to worry about anything. The office does have... A spare room where you can sleep. That's where I sleep a couple times when, well, I can't be bothered to go home. Yes, you can use it. I just said that I was going to take you there. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you worry about the littlest things for absolutely no reason. It's quite funny if you think about it. Don't let this worry influence your work any more than it has. Just keep up the good work and you won't have to worry about anything, okay? Alright, just come with me. So, from the time that you have been working here, what do you think? Oh, please. Look, I do not want to hear any such sort of praises or whatever about the work environment. I know I'm your boss, but I, I 
You can be honest. I promise that I won't hold it against you. <laughs> I understand your reluctance. But if you do tell me your honest opinion, I can imp improve the working environment for you. Trust me. I mean, I haven't made things any harder than I already have, and the only times that I have was for a good reason, and you know it. I don't want any employees sack slacking off, so... That question came out of nowhere. But if you must know, I'm 27. Well... I guess you could say I'm sort of spoiled, but I got this role from my parents from the, from the first place, so what can you do? Life is unfair. Some people have to climb their way to the top, while others just get them, well, get deplaced. Like I did. Not many people like that. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? It's not like I can control how I was born, right? I mean, you might have to climb your way to the top. But at least you earned it, didn't you? But I recommend one thing. Don't work yourself to exhaustion over and over again. It's not going to lead to anything good. You have to play it smart. Well, you need to have your connections and be in good relations with a lot of people. Once you have that, you can almost do anything if you build the right relationships. Anything. Anything this in this world relies on who you know and who can help you in that regard. Just a word of advice. Be really careful of the people that you do trust. Because sometimes if you trust the wrong person, they can lead you all the way to the pits of hell. Alright? <laughs> Just looking out for you, okay? I don't want you to suffer more than you already have during this job. I'm not blind. I've seen... The things that people do, and I've tried my best to put you with other people that I thought that you would get along with, but I guess my judgment was wrong. Anyways, we're here. What do you think? It's not much of a, well, luxurious place, but it's comfortable enough for, for a night. Not something that I would call home, but... Just try not to forget to miss your last bus this time. What if one day I decide to not go home, then I have to use this bed, and then I'd rather not share. Alright? We might build a couple more, but then again, the workaholics might as well hog all of the beds. I'd rather not have that happen. <laughs> All right, hey, look at me. Throughout this entire conversation, you have not looked in my eyes once. Are you really that scared to look at me in the eyes? You don't have to be shy. It's all right. Come on, look at me. There you go. Another important thing, you need to know when to make eye contact with people. If you know how to make eye contact with people, they will like you more. It all depends on your body language to get along with people, right? I was similar to you in being shy, but I had to learn the hard way on how to, well, manage people. When I started, it was quite hard. People do learn how to take advantage of you if they know that they can, if they know that you won't fight back. So I recommend that you do start doing so. No one else can fight for you all the time. 
They can help you during your fight. But the only person who can truly fight is the person themselves. Once you do that, you'll be set for life. You got that? Well, do enjoy the rest of your night, alright? I'll be seeing you in the morning. Don't, just, don't overwork yourself again. When I say overtime, it doesn't mean that you should stay here day in, day out, night, every night. It doesn't mean that. Maybe just an hour or something like that. But aside from your everything else, I'll deal with the people in a swift manner. Alright? To enjoy the rest of your night. Good night.